各位媒体朋友们，大家上午好。Friends from the media, good morning. Welcome to the State Council Information Officers Press Conference today. We will release the white paper entitled "The Youth of China in the New Year" today. 同时举行新闻发布会，向大家介绍 And hold this press conference to brief you about the main content of this white paper. This white paper is a step to implement the Xi Jinping thought on socialism with China's characteristics for a new era. Over the past hundred years, youth of China has made relentless efforts. To achieve the goal of national rejuvenation, since the 18th Party Congress, the CPC Central Committee, with Comrade Xi Jinping at its core, has taken great interest in youth-related work and rolled out a series of measures and policies to promote youth development. This white paper has presented the great achievements in China's youth development. And the profile of the majority of China's youth. It calls on the youth of China to work together to achieve a community with a shared future for mankind and contribute to a better world. This white paper constitutes of a preamble, the main content, and conclusion. In the main body, it includes. Four parts. First one is the new era, great times with ample opportunities. Second, all-round development in the new era. Third, shouldering heavy tasks and responsibilities. And fourth, having a global vision and a strong sense of responsibility. The white paper is released in Chinese, English, French, German, German, Russian, and Arab. And Spanish. In order to help you better understand the composition and content of this white paper, we are pleased to invite the first secretary of Secretariat of the Communist Youth League Central Committee, He Junke, and the secretary of the Secretariat of the Communist Youth League Central Committee, Fu Zhengbang. To brief you about the white paper and take your questions, and I'll give the floor to Mr. He Junke. Ladies and gentlemen, friends from the media, good morning. I'm very pleased to brief you about youth development in China in the new year. First of all, on behalf of the Interministerial Joint Conference of the Medium to Long Term Youth Development Plan Implementation and the Communist Youth League of China Central Committee. Extend my heartfelt appreciation to all of you for your long、uh, support and care about youth development in China. Since the 18th Party Congress, the Central Committee,、uh, with Comrade Xi Jinping at its core, has given great attention, care, and trust to the youth, and invested a lot in the youth-related work. This has enabled China's youth development to achieve all-round progress and historic achievements. In general terms, China's youth development is more advanced than its overall economic and social development. Many core indicators have reached the level, the average level of medium to high income countries. In order to present the high spirit of the youth of China in the new era and communicate the Chinese government's policies on the youth, and with the support of the Publicity Department of the CPC Central Committee, the Ministry of Education, and the Ministry of Human Resources and Social Securities, and other members of the Joint、uh, Conference. The General Office of the Joint Conference has formulated this white paper. This white paper is dedicated to the youth, the first of its kind in the history of New China. We have utilized the statistical monitoring system on youth development, headed by the National Bureau of Statistics, leveraged the role of the experts under the medium and long-term youth development plan, incorporated the statistical monitoring report on youth development, the statistical yearbook and blue book on youth development, as well as other research outcomes. It has presented the enormous achievements of China's youth development since the 18th Party Congress and drawn a profile of Chinese youth in the new era. In terms of living conditions, 
The youth in China in the new era are born in the best time in Chinese history. They enjoy more sufficient conditions for development, more opportunities to shine in their life, more extensive support and safeguards, and a broader space for growth. They are blessed with wonderful opportunities to succeed. In terms of their attainments, they are firmer in ideals and convictions, enjoy better physical and mental health, receive better education, and participate more actively in social activities. They are keen to gain abilities and skills by meeting challenges and have shown the qualities required to shoulder the responsibility for national rejuvenation. In terms of their sense of mission, they are devoted and hardworking, doing their job, leading the charge in difficult situations and emergencies, sharpening their skills and will through community services, taking the lead in innovation and entrepreneurship, and spearheading cultural and ethical progress. They have demonstrated the character of not fearing hardships or challenges. In terms of their global vision, they are walking with bigger strides toward the world, communicating and working with a greater number of international friends, increasing understanding with fellow youth in other countries through exchange and dialogue, and working together to create a shared, brighter future. They are embracing the world with with greater openness and confidence, and meeting the responsibility to build a community with a shared future for mankind. Chinese young people's promise, vigor, and confidence is ample evidence that the Chinese government's commitment to a Marxist view on youth development, to the principle of the party leading the youth, and to the policy of prioritizing youth development is absolutely right that the CPC's leadership in the socialist system is the fundamental reason for China's historic achievements in youth development and its fundamental source of strength. At the same time, we are aware that in China in the new era, our primar primary contradiction has undergone a profound shift and the world is experiencing major changes unseen in a century. We are faced with new circumstances and new challenges in youth development and there are a big number of pressing issues of great concern facing all social groups and sectors. That requires the collaboration, support and understanding of all aspects of society. We will grasp the reality of China's development and national conditions, keep in mind the overall interests and long-term interests of Chinese nation, fully appreciate the key strategic role of youth, continue to step up policy support, and enable the youth to gain more inspiration and contribute more strength in the great process of national rejuvenation. In a few weeks, we will celebrate the 100th anniversary of the founding of the League. As a the People's Organization of Forward-Thinking Young People under the leadership of the CPC, the League has always taken serving youth development as an important duty. We will act on General Secretary Xi Jinping's important thinking on youth-related work, respond to the needs and concerns of youth in a timely manner, focus on policy, advocacy and social advocacy, give full play to the League's role as a bridge linking the party with younger generations, facilitate greater progress in youth development plans implementation and contribute to success of the 20th Party Congress with our excellent work results. That's my opening remarks. Thank you.